Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here talking about the tools of the trade for my internet marketing business. Now for this video, we are going to do a review of two different webinar technologies that I've been using for the last few months. And actually one of them I've been using for several years. And the two tools that we're going to compare are Webinar Jam and Zoom for webinars. Now, as I was going through and recording this video, talking about the benefits and drawbacks of the two tools, I actually went from being on the fence as to which one was better, all the way to coming up with a clear conclusion as to which one is best for my business. And I'm actually probably gonna cancel the other one pretty quickly here as a result of going through this video. So if you are interested in learning which webinar software works best for us here at Jefflytics, and perhaps for you, and you wanna get an unbiased benefits and drawbacks list, watch this video and you're gonna see exactly how we came to the conclusion that we did as to which webinar software is better. So in this edition of Tools of the Trade, we are going to talk about Zoom versus Webinar Jam and get to determine which of these webinar softwares are right for you. So today's video, we are going to talk about webinars. Now webinars can be used for sales, directly selling something to your customer. And I would say that the majority of the time people are using webinar software in order to sell something for the most part. But you can use them for other purposes as well. You might use them for thought leadership. You might use them to do training. You can do all kinds of different things on the webinar format. And basically you have one or two presenters, maybe more than that, but usually one or two presenters, and they are giving away something of value to people on the other end. And webinars are usually done live, and there's usually a bunch of other people on the other end who are listening to what you have to say and want to either buy what you have, or they're just looking for something that's gonna be of use for them in a training perspective. So they're either looking to buy what you have to sell, or they're just looking for some kind of value in your training. Now, webinar software is super advanced. You can have hundreds to thousands of people watching you live stream your screen, your audio, your video, and they can do it seamlessly. They can hear everything you're saying. They can watch what you're doing, and it works pretty darn well. I'm really impressed by the state of webinar software and how well it works from a live streaming perspective. But mostly, they're focused on the streaming and the technology. They don't always think about things like marketing. They don't always think about things like sales. They're really heavily focused on the technology, making sure that the webinar works from a streaming perspective. And that makes me wonder sometimes, what about the user? What about the person who's hosting the webinar? What kind of tools can you put on top of your webinar software to give them what they need to run their business? Now, we currently have two webinar software subscriptions. And the reason why we have two subscriptions is because we have two different sets of needs and these tools don't necessarily address them perfectly. And so we need to use two different pieces of software. And it's actually a pretty expensive subscription for us. So we're considering whether or not we need to consolidate or not, or what we need to do. Now, one of these webinar softwares is focused on our sales and marketing efforts. And that one's called Webinar Jam. And the second one is what we use for our group coaching calls. And this is called Zoom. Now, we moved to Zoom for our agency course coaching calls because we were having some troubles with Webinar Jam. They were going through some problems with their system, doing some upgrades. And obviously, when people say upgrades, it really didn't do exactly what we wanted. It actually ended up being a downgrade in service for us. And so we had to change over to Zoom. But now that I've been trying Zoom for a while, I think there's some things that I like and some things that I don't like. And so let's compare and contrast these two pieces of software, and you can get an idea as to how we feel about working in both. Now let's look at Zoom from an ease of setup standpoint. Here's how you set up a webinar on Zoom. You can see there's several options in here. Basically, you just put in these options and you click schedule and your webinar is scheduled. Now, it doesn't get more straightforward than that. But when I first started using Zoom, I was like, okay, well, where's all the features? Because I'm used to setting up webinars in Webinar Jam. And as you can see here, there's tons of things you can do within it. Webinar Jam has, I wouldn't say it's as easy to set up a webinar, but there's all kinds of configuration options and all kinds of different really cool things you can do within there. So I think that Webinar Jam, even though it's not as easy to set up, it actually has way more features, which as you get more advanced in doing these things, you want more features because the features can be really beneficial to you. Now here's what a registration page looks like in Zoom. You can see somebody just puts in their name and their email address and they're ready to go as long as they prove they're not a robot. And there's some other configuration options that are in there. Now if you wanna register for Webinar Jam, you can choose between all kinds of different predefined templates. You can host it on your own website and they actually have emails, notifications, all kinds of cool stuff built into it on top of that. So there's way more options available within Webinar Jam than there is in Zoom as well. 
Now here's what the attendee experience is like in both softwares. When you're using Zoom, you can see here that somebody needs to install software in order to attend the meeting. And I think that can be a pain for the people who are using this for the first time. Whereas with Webinar Jam, it's done in a browser. So you simply go in there, you go into your browser and things work well. Now, the reason why I started to move away from Webinar Jam or why I wanted to try something else at least is because I did have some problems with people not being able to connect to the audio and video. There were some problems with the way that it was working as they transitioned their system from one technology to another. Like I said, that upgrade that they were doing ended up being a downgrade in service, but it seems like they've gotten over it and it's actually gotten to be a lot better since that point. So I'm, I'm back on board with Webinar Jam being a sound system for running a webinar. Now, one of the great things about Zoom is that the live webinar, the audio and video quality is much better because you're recording it locally. So you record it on your own computer, then you upload it to the internet, and those recordings are high quality. So you can basically have your bass microphone. You can hear exactly what you're saying. There's no crunching of the audio because you are uploading it to the internet. There's no problems with bandwidth at all. So I really like that part of Zoom. Whereas with Webinar Jam, because you are talking to YouTube Live, you're basically talking on the internet, you are not getting the highest quality audio signal that comes up. It's compressed by the time that it's recorded. And so you're recording a compressed audio signal, and that could mean that your audio signal is not as good as the local machine. Same with your video as well. You're getting compressed video, and so chances are it's not gonna be nearly as high quality as what you get from Zoom. So this is a big plus for Zoom because you have a local recording, and it's actually the main value proposition that I've found with Zoom is the local recording capability. From an analytics perspective, Zoom's pretty terrible. I don't really like it much at all. It does tell you some stuff about how long somebody watched for, but there's really nothing around the quality. There's really no marketing to speak of. This is just a pure report. It's basically saying this person attended for this long, and that's pretty frustrating. I think that it could be much better. Whereas with Webinar Jam, they have some pretty extensive analytics. You can see how individuals performed and watched it. You can see how much money you made off the webinar. You can see the traffic that went to your landing page. You can see how long people stayed for, and the interface just looks so much nicer as well. I really do like Webinar Jam better from an analytics perspective. Integration. Well, Zoom integrates with other platforms through Zapier, and then they have some native integrations as well. One of the integrations that I like with Zoom is with Acuity Scheduling. Whenever there's a certain meeting type that somebody requests with me, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one call or some kind of training, I can actually automatically attach a Zoom meeting and then it's automatically attached to my calendar. And so now I have a meeting that I can jump into and record the call without having to go into Zoom and set it up directly. So that really works nicely. But again, Webinar Jam has much more integrations, lots of cool integrations happening within Webinar Jam that I definitely recommend. They're both native integrations with your different email autoresponders. There's all kinds of things you can do to set up rules within there. And then also it interfaces with Zapier as well. So lots of cool stuff you can do with Webinar Jam. And it definitely takes the cake here as far as integrations go over Zoom from a webinar perspective. Now the pricing is about the same. Zoom's webinar costs $40 for the webinar package for up to 100 attendees, but then there's also another $15 on top of it to use Zoom. Whereas Webinar Jam actually lets you do it for unlimited users essentially, and it's $479 a year. I got grandfathered in a little bit less than that a few years ago, and so it's definitely a little bit cheaper than Zoom. And the number of users that you have is not limited. You can have unlimited users. You're not just stuck at 100. So Webinar Jam is a much better price than Zoom as well. I think that Zoom is actually a little bit overpriced for their webinar product for what you get. Really, all you're getting is the ability to record locally a higher quality video audio file locally when you upload it. And that's pretty much what you're getting. But the thing is, I could use something like Camtasia or another tool to get the same effect if I wanted to. So in summary, Zoom is built for meetings and Webinar Jam is built for marketing. And me as a marketer, being somebody who's marketing, trying to sell stuff, trying to sell my products, trying to get people interested in what I have to say, I definitely think that Webinar Jam makes a lot of sense. In many cases, I'd say seven out of the eight checkpoints here, Webinar Jam is the winner. So what's my verdict on the comparison of Webinar Jam and Zoom? Well, they're both great pieces of software, but... If I only had to choose one, I would choose Webinar Jam. And that's because they check all the boxes that I want and they are much more marketer focused. And the one area where Zoom is better, I actually have a local solution I could fix as well if I wanted to. 
So in summary, Webinar Jam can do everything that Zoom does, and it has better marketing features. And so that's what I would choose if I could only choose one. I am considering consolidating down to one, just keeping the Zoom meetings package. That's about $15 a month. And then getting rid of the webinar package and using Webinar Jam once again as my sole webinar communication software. Now, I'm not sure when I'm gonna do that, if I'm gonna do that. This video is helping me sort out my own thoughts. And if you wanna know what's going on, if you're interested in trying Zoom, go to jefflytics.com slash Zoom. I'm a big fan of Zoom for meetings. I use it to record almost every internal and external meeting that I have. Can't live without it at this point, but I don't really need the webinar software. So you should check out Zoom just because it's awesome, but temper your expectations when it comes to webinars. And if you're interested in trying Webinar Jam, visit jefflytics.com slash webinar jam. I'm a big fan of this piece of software. I almost gave up on it. I was almost out the door with Webinar Jam. I really did have some frustrations back in 2016, 2017. But you know what? It's pretty awesome right now. They've really fixed a lot of their problems and they've made it a much better piece of software. So that's it for this video. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to learn more from us here at Jefflytics. Mm -hmm.